What's going on everyone and welcome back to our all women run of Eternum. Before we begin for today, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, link in the description below to my Patreon if you want to give that a look. Let's get back into the story. So last episode, we left off with Alex here. She scared the crap out of us. Uh, so let's keep going. Uh, we're about to head into the party. See what happens now. Oh, we'll see about that. We'll see. Anyway, pretty fancy place, huh? Reminds me of our house in Wales. We used to go there during the holidays when I was seven or eight years old. I used to spend entire days on the lake with, it, with my grandma. Oh, really? And you don't go there anymore? Nah, after she died of cancer, I stopped going anywhere with my family. They've always had better things to do. No, oh, I'm sorry, Alex. No worries, it's been a long time, but thank you. Damn. You know, now they can look at you properly. I uh, incredibly beautiful tonight. You look like a high society gal. Do uh, you want to pick the high society one? You look like a high society gal. Oh, you really think so? Yep, definitely. Isn't it amazing? What some makeup and fancy clothes can do. Suddenly, the rebellious child is the perfect young lady. The ugly duckling has turned into a beautiful swan. The black sheep has changed her colors. Finally, Papa will accept me back into the family. <laughs> well, even if it's absurd to deny that you really look stunning with that dress, I gotta say, I prefer the real you. An Alex with no tattoos is no Alex. They're like, part of you. Goddamn right. They did a great job hiding them, though. I can't see any trace. It's not the first time I've had to use makeup to hide them. I attended a couple of dinners like this in the real world with my father shortly after I got the first ones. But after a few incidents, he stopped forcing me to go. Less embarrassing for him, I guess. Are you wearing makeup on your arms, too? Under the gloves? Yeah, I am. You never know what can happen. So I put makeup on everywhere. Everywhere? You sure you didn't have any tattoo with an area? If you want, I can check if the tattoos on your back and thighs are covered up well under the dress. I wouldn't mind really. It's for the good of the mission. You never know what could happen. <laughs> I bet you wouldn't dare. I'm sure everything's perfectly hidden, but thanks for the offer. I'll definitely keep it in mind. Hmm, is she flirting with me? Or is she just messing with me? It's hard to tell with her. Now, we haven't actually checked this in a while. Uh, yeah, so everyone is still here. Let's see. Four hearts with Annie. Let's see, four with Nancy. Three with Penelope, which makes sense. We haven't done anything with her for a while. Uh, four with Dahlia. Only three with Luna, which, again, also makes sense. We haven't done anything with her for a long time. Three with Alex. This is our first time with her for a while. Three with Nova. Oh, can't be showing that. Can't be showing those on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's good. I'll put this second. Let's be realistic. Anyway, getting back to business. Do you have the masks? I do. They're right here. Oh, interesting. Everyone has the same ones? I saw a couple of people in the distance, and they were pretty similar, but different colors. So, we have a cat and a demon? Yeah, it seems so. Which one do you want? Uh, well, I guess I'll go with the cat. I'll leave the uni one to you. It's more co your color. Yeah, I'll take that as a compliment. All right, then. We're all set. Any advice? These people love talking about themselves. Try to keep your conversations on them. Then, you could try to casually sneak in a question about what we want to know. But don't make it look like interrogation. Gotcha. What topics should we prior prioritize tonight anyways. Well, if we can learn about the Gems of Doom, the Weapons of Atlas, or Thanatos would be useful. Maybe someone knows something about the desk that Ulysses has hidden, but that might be difficult to bring up. I see. Sounds good to me. Alright then, put on your mask, and let's get back to the party. The main entrance is this way, past the corner. And where shall we meet to share reconnaissance after the dinner? I prefer gathering intelligence myself, but if either of you gains information on there, it would be nice to hear, I would like to hear it. 
Great point. I think a good meeting spot would be at... What? What the hell are you doing here? What do you mean? Am I supposed to stay locked up? I'm not a bird, Orion. You can be wherever you want, except here. Do you remember what we talked about? The people who are looking for you are going to be here. The guards who attacked us are here. Shit, the people who could... The people who put you in that box are probably in this mansion. All the more reason to be here then. I would very much enjoy having a conversation with them. Oh god, this is such a bad idea. They don't worry about me so much. I know how to take care of myself. My power used to be feared across all the elven kingdoms. That doesn't exactly give me peace of mind. And how did you get in there, even? What's up with that dress? I'm pretty sure it's not even elven. Oh, well, I simply opened a portal to your location. I can instantly appear wherever you are. In this attire, I copied parts of the outfits of the other woman I saw entering this place. I usually do not like your peasant garb, but this time I was not entirely displeased by them. I believe these people are the elite of your society, correct? Um, yeah, I guess you could say that. Well, I can't say this dress was a bad choice. You look... You look hot as fuck, Calypso. That is quite inappropriate, but I will allow it. Thank you, Alexandra. You look hot as fuck as well. I still suspect that the blood of my race courses through your veins. And I still doubt it, but hey, maybe a distant relative. Who knows? Perhaps our blood is powerful. It could persist through many generations. All right, so tell me, why'd you come? What's your plan? I'll keep a low profile, but not, do not worry about me. While you try to seek information about those gems of power, I will likewise ask questions about my realm. I see. Fair enough. Good luck with that. If you need any assistance, Ryan can summon me. I grant him permission to do that once tonight. Well, he still doesn't have full control of his powers, so he can't guarantee that, even if he tried. Hey, I'm getting better. What about your face, though? It's very distinct. I guess you could say you're just role-playing as an elf, and you wouldn't be the first, but someone might still recognize you. Somebody don't want to. That's not a problem. I saw those masks too. I'll just create one for myself. Like this. Wow, that's quite cool. And finally, what about the hair? His turquoise color is quite unique. This will do. Damn. Can you really change your hair and clothes just by thinking about it? Yes, yeah, something like that. Wow, you're like living Penelope's dream. Very well then, I'll be on my way. If we do not see each other inside, we shall meet again here after the event. All right, good luck, Calypso, and be careful. I always am. Well, what can go wrong? Must seem more worried about the other guests than Calypso herself. Every day she seems... More powerful. Yeah, she's definitely recovering confidence and power. I guess we should go inside before she starts disintegrating people. Yeah, I guess so. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. Okay, using a posh accent. Remember to talk as if you're better than the rest of the world. Impersonating Axel then. Got it. <laughs> See you catch on fast. A few minutes later. Okay, fancy. Damn. Okay, well, can we click? Or is it just a... Uh... Holy fuck, this place is so staggering. It's ostentatious. It's always a question of excess. How much bigger and better am I than you? You've got to flaunt it. I feel so out of place. Like they can see and smell the pour on me. If I look rich to you, you look passable. Don't worry too much. None of them are particularly clever. I know that from experience. Good evening, sir. And welcome to the Boyle Mansion. Thank you. The founder and the Lady of Eternum will make an appearance at 11 o'clock p.m. But all other guests have already arrived. Ah, the big man. He apologizes for his delay, as an unforeseen event has detained him. 
Well, that's sensible. Imagine that being the CEO of the biggest company on earth has to keep you busy. In the meantime, I suggest you partake in our gourmet cuisine, featuring a wine selection carefully crafted by our in-house sommeliers. I don't know say that. That sounds good. Wait, is that sushi? Yes, it is, sir. Would you like to taste that? Sure. You can find further savory foods and other culinary delights in the golden room. I'll check it out. Thank you. We didn't come here to eat, remember? Oh, come on, Alex. I can't even eat a couple of canopies. Eat this one if you want. That's it. You need to be focused. Of course, I'll be focused. It's just sushi, not a joint. Mmm. It's... It's not as if it's good. <laughs> Jesus, tap dancing Christ. This is fine. The sushi? Is this what rich people eat every day? Sweet mother of God, it's the best thing I've ever tasted. You're outrageous, you know. You've never eaten sushi before? This is not normal sushi. It's like having an orgasm in your mouth. For fuck's sakes, don't overreact. Just a handful of rice with a slice of tuna on top of it. Taste it. Uh, fine, I'll eat one. Will you shut up and start focusing if I do? Yes. Mmm. We're happy, can we? <laughs> this game. And? Sweet mother of God, this shit's divine! It's the best thing I've ever tasted! It's like the nectar of the gods! It's amazing, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, it's not... Not bad. Not bad?! Okay, enough! We didn't come here to drink and eat Orion. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. No more distractions. Dahlia, Nova, and all the others are counting on us. So we need to stay focused, no matter how ridiculously good the food is here. So you admit that the sushi was amazing. Jesus Christ, it was glorious! How could it be so fucking good? Do you think we could sneak a platter out of Eternum? Right? It was like having an orgasm in your mouth. I know! That's enough. Let's focus on the mission. All right. She got going. We should split up. We'll be able to talk to more people that way. Makes sense. I see three members of Ulysses' board of directors from here on the upper floor. I'll leave them to you. I doubt they would recognize me, but I prefer not to take the risk. The bearded man is Dr. Dupont. He's as disgusting as my father, so be careful with him. The woman is Lisa Astor. She's haughty and full of herself, so you'll probably get her attention easily by complimenting her. And the last one is Mr. Moss. He's nice, or at least he's pretending to be. He was the only one of them who didn't go goggle at me the last time I saw those pigs. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Understood. You take the other stairs. Let's meet again downstairs next to the statues. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. I'm not a fan of sushi. I don't like it. Well, and stuff I've tasted. All right. You got this, Ryan. Force a posh accent. <laughs> it's refreshing to find someone whose count countenance compliments her attire so excellently, madam. Yeah, I'm nailing it. I can't do a posh accent, man. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. We got over here, over here, and over here. Uh, so let's do this one first. Huh, looks like Calypso managed to blend in rather well. What could they be talking about? Actually, he was caught with her sister in his office. No way. How do you always have the juiciest rumors in all of Eternum? <laughs> it's all about the connection, Susie. Is there any particular rumor you'd like me to confirm or deny? I know them all. I heard the founder was seen in Aphrodite's the other day. Is that true? <laughs> well, I didn't tell you this, but... Damn. I'm digging the type of clothes these rich people are wearing. I wish Calypso or Alex would have chosen those threads. Cutie? Huh? What? Any rumors you've heard about lately? Oh, um... I've heard that Thantos is actually a woman. That she walks on stilts and uses a voice changer to look like a big scary man. <laughs> oh please, that's completely false. 
Actually, get this between us, but I go with him to the thermal bath of Holland? Hall Lynch. I don't know say it. Really? Hello, what? I've seen him naked, and let me tell you, his stature is absolutely dwarfed by the weapon in his pants. Ooh, get that out of the way. Oh boy. The thermal bass? That's total bullshit. Next, she'll be trying to convince me that Thanos is actually just three kids in a trench coat. <laughs> and speaking of big instruments, I've got a new boyfriend. Did I tell you? Oh, tell me, tell me. Who is he? I've been sleeping with a 24 year old boy. <laughs> eh? You unnatural deviant. Um, excuse me? How could you do that to an innocent child? What? Did you hear me wrong? I said 24 years old. I can hear you loud and clear the very first time. How dare you boast about such an act? Um, what? I'm sorry, who are you again? Me? I'm Prince. She's a bit dizzy. Too much champagne. If you excuse us, I'll escort her to the restroom. Oh, I see, of course. What the hell was that? You promised me you tried to go unnoticed. Am I supposed to stand idly by when people in this place abuse children with nary a concern? What are you talking about? That woman says she's sleeping with a 24 year old, an infant. Um, I'm still not sure you understand how aging works. That's not an infant, like at all. You know I'm only 18, right? <laughs> you are 18 years old? I could barely walk when I was your age. You certainly do not look 18. Alex, Dahlia, Luna, and Annie are all 18 too. Sweet mother, I've been spending time with toddlers. Not kids, we just grow faster than you. If you were human, you wouldn't look like this at 84 years old. I assure you, you definitely wouldn't have this figure. What's the life expectancy of elves anyways? Well, we grow up at a steady pace until we are 60 years old. After 60, an elf is considered an adult. Our bodies then stay physically the same for the next 2,000 to 3,000 years. Really? It's incredible. I wish we could live that long while looking eternally young. And what happens after all those years? We die, naturally. Although, depends on the person. Lathleral? Lord of sure, is <laughs> still alive, and he's over 8,000 years old. It's said he fought in the War of the Last Alliance. Amazing. And another question. I was wondering, what happens if a 60-year-old elf sleeps with a 50-year-old one? What do you mean? Well, you know, if an adult elf has sex with an infant one, is that considered some kind of taboo or... Ah, I should not be the one explaining this to a commoner, but yes, that is controversial. I see. Similar to our world then. Although, it is nothing compared to the intercaste relationships, of course. That is expressly prohibited. You mean like a prince and a peasant? Yes, it is despicable and prohibited altogether. Come on. Prohibited, yes, but despicable? First time we met, you said you thought that relationships between humans and elves were hot because they were forbidden too. I never said such a thing. Oh, the princess is lying to her people. I... Ugh, you're hopeless. Ahem, <clears throat> whatever. I'll go back to the gathering. Don't get your hopes up, though. I think that woman is making things up as she speaks. Yes, I noticed. These people pretend to be high society, but they are nothing but facades. But I guess I'll stay for now. I'll be around if you need me. I'll call you if we need your help. Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. You are welcome. She let it slide, though. Called the princess by a diminutive, and I wasn't threatened with vaporization. Making progress. <laughs> yeah, seriously. All right, so we got the middle, and we got this dude. Good evening. Hehe. <laughs> ah, uh, good evening, young man. How can I help you? You're Mr. Moss, right? Ah, I guess these masks don't cover enough. Yes, I am. This is my darling, Alex. Nice to meet you. I'll let you talk. I need a glass of champagne. Do you need anything? Oh, thank you, dear. Well, 
It must be the man who stole the gem of, from Garrington. What? How do you... We have some business together, so I knew he was going to come here tonight. But it seems he lost the gem at the last moment. And then, I noticed your tuxedo is not tailor-made, so I assumed you're one of the players invited tonight as part of the gems event. Wow, you're as sharp as they say. Yeah, I had to buy this suit at the very last second, and I didn't have enough money to get a bespoke one. That is unfortunate. Take this as a small token of welcome. Alright. No self-respecting man should go around without a good suit. Did, did you just send me 120 eternals? Wow, thank you. This should be enough to have your suit tailored. True beauty comes from helping others. Damn. Guess there are some good people working at Ulysses. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, now that you mention it. I've been wondering for a long time if... Do you know anything about... Okay. Uh, we have the Founder, Syndicate, and the Weapons of Atlas. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't see anything about that, so I guess we can just go through all of them. The Founder? Huh. He's a brilliant man. Most people don't realize how outrageously generous he is. He could be charging monthly subscription fees, and every single player would happily pay it. Yet, he chose not to. That's true. But personality-wise, I'm afraid there's not much I can tell you. He's a private man. I see. Well, I don't want to inconvenience you anymore. You can get for your gift, Mr. Moss. My pleasure. Not sure why, but he has an air of mystery around him. Hmm. Okay, and then we can go to this guy here. We don't have to. Um, according to the guide, we only need to talk to the first two. Uh, but let's talk to him anyways. How many times do I have to say it? I want more wine. Get your ass to the cellar and bring me a full bottle, you moron. Ugh, this fucking idiot. Still need a ton of improvement. I agree. Whoever programmed them has no idea what they're doing. Can you believe I asked for a, sal a salmon nigiri and they brought me a uramaki? Exactly. These programmers are terrible. I bet they hired immigrants. Or worse, women. Yeah, I bet they did. Jesus, what a fucking bigot. Can I ask you something, Dr. Dupont? No. I don't even know who you are. Uh, I'm in charge of Ulysses Network Security. Let me tell you that you're doing a shit job. That's a tough nut to crack. You had a security breach and restricted server the other day. Was that your fault? Oh, yeah, I've heard of it. I'm so sorry. We were attacked by a group of Chinese hackers. Chinese, huh? That makes sense. Everything is resolved now. What do you mean, everything? They stole something very valuable. Oh, really? What was it? You don't know? One of the weapons of Atlas or something. I don't care about all that bullshit. If it becomes public that we can be robbed so easily, our stock will take a hit. I see. If I may ask, if that weapon was so valuable, why wasn't there more security or Praetorians guarding it? I don't know. You tell me. Aren't you in charge of the network security? Why isn't there a fucking Praetorian in every corner you turn them? Um, well... What was your name again? Uh... Good evening, gentlemen. Would you care for an hors d'oeuvre? Oof, thank God. He's backing me in a corner here. It doesn't seem that invested in Eternum's day to day goings. Unless it relates to a stock price, I won't give much more info out of him. I'll make it very clear to you if you don't bring me my fucking wine in less than five minutes, you'll regret it. Do you understand? Of course, sir. My apologies. I'll be right back. Competent. Anyway, what were we talking about? Um, I'm saying that I was heading to the kitchen to ask for an explanation. Good. Tell them to bring me my wine. Of course. Good evening, Dr. Dupont. Ugh. All right, now we can leave. I pulled everything I could out of these people. Let's go downstairs. Mm, let's see. Oh, nothing to click. Huh. Alex is already here. She's talking to someone. Ah, finally. Come here quickly. Mr. Linus has something amazing to share with you. Really? Well, I'm all ears. It's nice to meet you. I'm Alistair Linus, Zip versus Chief Technology Officer. Pleased to meet you. My colleagues and I are interested in talking to you about our latest creation. 
and you finally put the finishing touches on our prototype of an artifact that will change Eternum forever. At Zipverse, our goal is to design products that allow users to answer daunting questions and explore the curiosities of the human mind. For this project, we reached out to Eternum players to figure out the number one question on everyone's mind. Does Idril have a, <laughs> have a pussy? That's not the question. Uh, excuse me? Eternum's NPCs are directly designed and controlled by the Founders team. Whether you like it or not, they have the most advanced AI technology in the world. Their NPCs are bound to do what they are programmed to do, no matter the situation. There was nothing we could do about it. Till now. Explain yourself. Each NPC has a chip on their neck, similar to our neural implants, that dictates their behavior. It determines their role in the game, their actions and limitations. And this artifact of yours is capable of reconfiguring the settings of said chip. How? Let me offer you a practical demonstration. Hey there, can you help us, cutie? Of course, sir. Is there anything I can do to serve you? Actually, yes. I'd like to go with you to the restroom real fast and have some fun. I'm sorry, I didn't understand your request. Let me rephrase it. I want you to come with me to the restroom so I can fuck you until it's sore. I am sorry, sir. We can't do that. Just a quickie. Please, do not insist or the Praetorians will intervene. Ah, that's too bad. Can you give me your ID number at least? Of course. It's 012574111. Thank you. NPCs have ID numbers too, like us. Yes, they all have one. It's linked to the chip I mentioned earlier. 01257. Into the number, you rotate this thing as if it were a Rubik's Cube, and. If you don't need anything else, I'll. Love her, even her mouth twitched. I'll be on my way. Not so fast. First, I want you to come with me to the restroom so I can fuck you. Of course, sir. Holy shit. What the hell? Go ahead, I'll be there in a minute. How the fuck? It's a revolution. And if you're wondering, yes, they do have one. And they're all unique too. It's simply brilliant. Are you not afraid of Ulysses taking action if they discover this? Ulysses and my company are training partners. It wouldn't be the first time I've tried to push the limits while having fun. Besides, we're using technology that could be found inside the world of Eternum, so... We're in a sort of legal gray area. And could this artifact be used with Idril herself? I tried asking for her ID number, but she's not programmed to tell it to us, like the rest of them. She seems to be more advanced. But if somehow you managed to discover it, yes, it would be possible. You could bang the Lady of Eternum. Well, I guess I have a rapey vibe to be honest, but technically it would also be possible to make her or other NPCs help you or give you confidential rainfall, right? Uh, well, I didn't think of non-sexual applications for the artifact, but yeah, I guess it would be possible, of course. Interesting. So what, are you interested? One prototype for only 25? 25 Eternals? Absolutely, give me three. 25 million. Oh. I'm feeling a bit sick. I'll get some fresh air. Meet me in the garden. Sure. What got into her all of a sudden? Oh. Fuck. William? Are you trying to rip people off with your junk again, Alistair? My business is always legitimate. I still don't understand why this company allows scum like you to come to these events. This is why it's in decay. I... I was leaving already. Um, I'll be in the golden room if you need me. Sure. William walks in front of you while you try to avoid eye contact. I hope that clown didn't disturb you. No, it's all good. Thank you. Do we know each other? No, I'm pretty sure we never met before. Dad, you have to come, now. Oh shit, he's here too? Not now, Axel. Dad, it's important, I saw something. Please. I'm sorry, I must excuse myself. Uh-huh. Thank God he's gone. 
Oh my fucking god, why is he so terrifying? Phew, that was close. I thought he'd recognize me for a second. Should go to the gardens with Alex. I've been here for too long. Psych! Huh? I'm sorry? Are you talking to me? Isn't this sculpture fascinating? The statue? Yes. Yeah, it's rather impressive. It represents Psyche, the goddess of the soul. Aha, uh -huh. cool. Who's this one? A man. Well, yeah, I meant what man? Just a man. So, the one in particular? Kind of an odd choice for a statue, isn't it? Depends on whom you ask. Some people could see a god in the figure of a mere man. Can a man obtain the power of a god? Can a mortal subdue a deity? Can a human transcend the limitations of mortality? Uh, I used to think that I understood the basic rules of our world until I saw Eternum. Here, everything's different. At the same time, exactly the same. That's actually a good description. It has certainly transcended the term video game. <laughs> video game. Have you ever met the creator of a server? The creator of a server? Well, not personally, no. I say most of them are created by the founder and his team as if they were the only ones who can sculpt Eternum. I've met some hackers though. <laughs> That's almost a developer, right? What did they hack? What? Shit, did I talk too much? Let me guess. In-game computers, drones, databases, chips, the exit portals. Um, can you modify your terrain, make you stronger, become immortal, change the rules of a world? I guess not. Ever seen a single bug in Eternum? A glitch? Have you ever experienced lag or found the servers down? Uh, I guess they have hundreds of people working every day to make sure the experience is absolutely perfect. That's what I meant when I said it's more than a video game. Can I ask you a question, friend? Of course. Why are you here? What did you come here looking for? Where? To this dinner? Yes. Uh, we are want... Answers. Answers. I see. In that case, meet me next to the main staircase at midnight. I must show you something. What's going on with this guy? What is it? Why me? You want answers? Just be here at 12. Okay, I will. Until then, friend. What the hell was that? Just a weirdo. Someone trying to mess with me, or... God, I've got a head like a beehive. Too much info and too many strange people in too little time. I need a break. I should join Alex in the gardens. Some fresh air will do me good. Before we meet up with Alex, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on in the next one.